Hello, my name is Adam Winrich, and this is a quick experiment with a whip. I'm going to crack it in some different places. I'm going to crack it towards the open field, crack it towards some trees, and then crack it towards that garage door. And I'm going to hold this sound level meter right next to my chest so I can see how many decibels are actually coming back at me, the whip cracker. As some of you may know, the whip crack that the whip cracker, <laughs> the whip cracker hears most of the time is just a reflection of the whip crack. So I want to see how these different areas reflect the whip crack back to me. So we're going to start out with the one that I think will be the quietest, which will be cracking it in the open field. So there I got a reading of 109.8, and I can tell you that was pretty easy on my ears. Now I'm going to crack it right near the tree. Now I'm at a reading of 120.4, so that's a jump of about 10 decibels, meaning I perceive that to be about twice as loud, or at least twice as loud as cracking it out in the field. Now I'm going to crack it towards the garage door, and this should be the loudest. And there I got a reading of 141.9, and that was not too friendly on my ears. I would not want to do a lot of that. And I've done a lot of experimenting with this whip, so I know if the meter were on the other end of that whip crack, it would have detected about 150 decibels, which would mean that what I heard, just being the whip cracker, was half as loud as what someone would have heard on the other end of that whip crack. Well, my name is Adam Winrich, talking about the reflections of whip cracks off of different surfaces. Thanks for watching.